guys are back. I'm making a little video about how to do work on these things. These little, not work on them, but install it. Because I'm tired of my family fighting over these little plugins that everyone needs. I have my phone, obviously. I like these ones a lot better because it's just nicer. And no, I can't take it out. It's whatever. But a lot of people, my kids and everyone, my wife, whatever, they're, everyone just uses them. And so finally what I'm going to do is, hold on, is put one over here. Sorry, my truck's a mess, but whatever. So instead of the, on the GM trucks, they all have this. It's always, they're always um, constant power. So that's super nice. Like this one, my truck's off, obviously. And you can, you can see it's on, but like one thing about this is that you, everyone always has to fight over. Cause I have one back here, my back one, if I can get it. So I have one of these in my back too. So what I'm thinking about, I might get rid of this cause I got two of them in this little pack thing. So it comes a little wire and like a fuse in line and everything. It comes with a little spade so you can hook it up and whatnot on the back. Cause that's all it is. Just a ground and a uh, positive. And it's nice because it has a voltage meter right there. So you can kind of see the numbers a little bit. But once I get her hooked up, you will see, like, it'll say how many voltage and what's going on. So it'll kind of be cool. Kind of sucky part, though, is kind of wish that I would have got the one where you can... You can still kind of see through it. So it'll kind of be cool. But you can turn it off and on. Which, these are constant power, so I don't really... I'm kind of... My truck's probably used to it always be on. So I'll turn it off and on. Depending on what I need or whatever. But yeah, so it should be pretty simple. All we're going to do is take this one out and wire it up and screw with that one. Because it has little threads. You can, I don't know if I can do it with one hand. But yeah, so we'll, you can see right there. It'll just tightens onto it and whatnot. So, and you can take this off if you don't like it either. It comes off pretty easy. So yeah, here it is. I took off the little thing you twist on make it tight. And like I said, you can take this off if you don't like it. It's just a little plastic thing. You can take it off. Oh, I just dropped again. But yeah, let's take this off and get her all hooked up. It's pretty easy. You guys got to kind of lift up your, your dash kit right there, your dash part right there. And then pull on this and it comes off. Oh, jeez. So yeah, so pull it off and then you can get from there. You can see all the stuff. So we're going to cut and splice into this. I probably definitely recommend maybe unhooking your battery just because it's constant power and we'll get her unhooked and I might need to get maybe do a little more uh, drilling because I saw a video where it the holes just a tad bit too small so I might have to sand it down a little bit make it bigger I just got a little drill bit because it's these little tiny things that hold it on and kind of drill them out because I couldn't get it off because it kept popping off that black thing and so I just drilled it in because they're freaking, they're tight. Like you're, you're, you're supposed to just be able to squeeze them and they should just pop out, but I didn't. And so I just drilled them out and just drill them out from the back. So I started getting this on and it's kind of nice because it's, I didn't have to drill anything, make it the hole bigger. I'm just kind of holding it in and turning it and it's slowly going in. So it's hard to do with one hand, but it's going in. And then this little tab right here is actually holding it so it's like let's see if I can do it. so it's just kind of there and that makes it tight anyways but and it's like I said too if you like it you don't like it you can take this off but you can kind of go if it's already on you can just the heck anyways but yeah you can put these on and put them over the hole or I mean squeeze it over pull it off whatever while it's on so if you don't like it, you can take it off really easy after it's been installed. So it's kind of nice. Let's get this on and then I'll get all wired up. There she is. She's all on. She's so tied it up and stuff. So like I said, you can put that on. We'll see what she looks like with it on. Looks pretty factory to me. Like you really can't tell if you were to buy the truck and see this. You're like, oh, I didn't know they did that USB stuff back in 07. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty clean. Get the wiring out. It's just a little ground and these we're gonna cut her up make it a little smaller because obviously they don't need this much wire for 10 inches if that maybe less obviously maybe two so we'll spice her up as long as we can get the fuse in there the fuse line in there will be good that way she does pop we're good 
So real quick, unhook the power real quick. But uh, yeah, so one thing I always do, just a little mini info. I don't know if anyone else does it. But when I take out stock stuff, I always cut that a little bit off. Just in case something happens, I need this back. I always put the club, the plug back in and cut a little bit of wired off a little further. So that's way I need to, I need to splice it in again. And for anything, any like my subwoofer and everything, I took off the wiring and um, you plug it back in because I actually sold my stock sub um, like last week. So yeah, always kind of a good thing to do and see if you just in case you may need it or whatever. But anyways, here she is too. So we got her wired up. Obviously, we're gonna use like just a little bit past the fuse act and then the rest we'll make it the same length so it's not weird and short one side and but yeah so it comes with a little, quite, quite a bit of wire and then it just comes with these little tiny terminals so you can if you have anything else you're not using on a truck like this you can hook it up to some sort of power but it looks pretty good we're just gonna cut it and then we're gonna splice it and use some of my little heat shrink things that i always use so i love those things and I'll put a link down below to where to get this and where to get the other stuff. We're all wired up, everything's hooked back up. We're good to go. Um, there, that's how I did a little heat up the things. Those are super nice. These things are awesome. I use them all the time. Actually, you probably need to pour some more, but so they're soldered together, all shr um, shrink wrapped and whatnot. And so they're plugged in. And there you go. So in the nighttime, kind of, let me see if we can turn the light. It's really not that bright. It's pretty nice. You can, and even with the cover on, you can kind of turn them off. If you press hard enough, it'll sense it. So here's with the... And like I said, you can still kind of read the numbers. It's a little fuzzy. Let's see if we can turn the light on. You can kind of still see the numbers, but... Yeah, it's plenty bright. So, and then like I said, you can turn it off. It's touch, it's not an actual button, like you can hear click and stuff. It's like almost like touch, just touch sensitive. Oh yeah, that's so nice. That's kind of cool. A little thing to add on to. Super easy to put on, turn off. Now it's not constant power. It's got a fuse on it, you got all that hooked together. So let's put her back in and then we'll, we'll be good. thing too is, uh. It is like measuring it. It's at 11 point. When I first turned the, the keys on and it's it was slowly going down. So it's not moving to the naked eye. On camera it looks a little moving right there by the one. But it's pretty cool to see what it does when I turn the truck on. nice so moved a little bit but yeah that's freaking sweet so everything's blued out she's ready to rock and like i said put the right back on there so she's not that bright you can kind of read her looks all stock turn her off nothing that's pretty sick i don't know why i didn't do this forever ago I don't know, I kind of want to keep it off, kind of don't. We'll see what happens. That's kind of cool. Maybe a little sneaky. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. I just, now I just need to clean my interior off and she should be awesome. That's sick. I like that. I don't know why I didn't do this forever ago. That's awesome. Now I'm thinking about, I have another one and I'll put the link below what to get. It comes with two of them. Um, I may do the back. I'm not gonna do this because I, I still like having a cigarette lighter hole Just in case you know uh, a friend or whoever or family member has that yeah So that'll be nice, but yeah, dang Get you one. That's awesome. It's super easy to put in too Yeah, that's nice. I literally me without me recording and looking for tools and stuff because honestly all I used was a drill just to get that those clips off and um a splicer or a tool wire tool and these plug connectors that's it or the solder connectors that's like legit it, it probably maybe only yeah it literally took maybe 30 minutes and that's just because i was looking for all this stuff definitely get that's awesome let me charge my phone too
back. I got the phone just to show you real quick. Sorry, this is my kid's phone. It's kind of weird. Friday Night Freddy stuff. But, so we're plugging in. So it's off right now. So let's turn it on. So it's charging. Oh, and it's fast charging. Even on the top one. So let's move on the bottom one. Okay, it's charging there. Fast charging on both of them, so that's kind of cool. It's nice. I thought I was because some of these, it's dumb because some of these will. It's for some reason the top one will charge fast and the bottom wall and or vice versa. But on both of these, they both fast charge on it, so that's kind of nice. So cool. I'll definitely put the link down below, like I said a thousand times in this video, and you should get you one. Simple, easy install for reals. Like I said, like 30 minutes, if that. But yeah, go and buy one.